Welcome back to the channel. On this episode of the van build, I'm going to be installing a new two burner hob into the van. In order to get the SQI engineer to pass the van, I need to change the two burner hob that's currently in the van. Let's have a look inside and see what's in it. This is the new two burner hob that has arrived and it's from Tetford. And this is specifically for a camper van. The measurements are the same size as the one that's on it. So I'm just hoping that it's gonna fit okay. As you can see the top of it, the grate here is actually secured down onto the, the hob. And the same with the back one here. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a screw here and that keeps this black part down. And then there's another screw here. So that means that nothing is going to move here. This is the previous two burner hub that I installed and I'm now going to remove it. And the reason I had to switch it over is because this grate needs to be secured in place. And also these tops for the burners, a whole lot of them aren't secured in place. And apparently if I have to get this certified by the SQI engineer, well then I need to change this two burner hub. That's what I'm gonna do now today. And then what I also have to do is I have to take this sharp edge off here because this sharp edge means that I can't actually get the camper past. I'm gonna change this out and then round the edge of that. So let's remove that old hub and I'll get this new one in place and hopefully fingers crossed it all fits in okay and we can actually secure it to the worktop. So let's give it a go. Get that to work. What are we gonna do here? Fix the oven. Right, so you tell, what have we discovered? The oven is needs to be raised up because there's not enough space between the oven and the fridge. Okay, so. What she's saying there is the fridge is literally rubbing off. There's not, it's not rubbing off, but there's probably like three or five mil from the top of the fridge to here. And I've just read the instructions and it says, we want provide an air gap of at least 30 mil under the unit. So what I'm gonna do is get a bit of two by one and cut a frame and then stick a frame under that. That'll raise it up slightly about 20 mil. And that should then be enough for the clearance because there's it's about five. So it'll be, it'll be enough. So what do you think? What do you think of the new hub? Looks really classy. Looks cool. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Glass is lovely. Glass is class. Class, class. And it's all black. See? Yeah, that's what I like about it. It matches yeah. the top. And only a touch of silver. Yeah, so the reason I'm going to prop this up is because if the SQI engineer comes along, he'll just have a look under here and he'll go, Not enough space. Oh, that's too close. You need to raise that up and I'll have said, I'll say to myself, what? What did I say why to myself? Didn't I, why didn't I do it sooner when, when I knew it? When I knew it. Yeah, don't try, you try and trick yourself to get e the easy option, but oftentimes that doesn't lead you anywhere. She's very wise, this one. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm drinking my celery juice. Why do you drink your celery juice, Ashley? Because it transforms your, your body and your health. And your mind as well. Instead of, instead of poisoning yourself, you're actually purifying. Very good. Okay, so I have to take another trip to the hardware store because as you can see, these securing bolts are too long and I wanna get shorter ones. So first things first, let's get cutting that frame for the two by one and get this propped up. And then once we have that done, we can figure out how to secure it underneath. So let's get cracking on that. I now have the frame constructed for the two burner hub. 
and it's just constructed out of two by one. So I know it's gonna be raised up a bit compared to the rest of the countertop, but once this is stained, it'll look just fine. And then that will give me the clearance under here for the fridge. I'll take the hob out now and just give you a look at what the frame is like without the hob. So here's the frame without the hob and it's just two by one. So what I did was I notched out here for a bit of the hob where I could slot in and I didn't have enough two by one. So instead of having to go to the builder's yard just for this, I pocket screwed the back piece here. So now what I'm going to do is, and I had to drill these holes here on the four corners because that's where the hob will then slot down into those holes and then what you do is you tread a bolt up through the hole and you secure it down so what I'll do is I'll um, I'll then secure this to the countertop and then place the hob on top so so the next thing to do is sand this frame and then stain it so let's get cracking on that is now secured in place and I've got it, everything bolted down so that's going nowhere really secure so what I did was if you can see if you can see I had these uh, M4 bolts that came with it but they were too long so then what I did was I got shorter ones in my local DIY and it had a screw head on it and the ones that came with they were that length so they were too long and they would have hit off the fridge so what I did was I changed them for a screw bolt it's a, a bolt with a screw head on the top and then what I did was I got a, a wider washer so if you can see that washer there and then it's a wing nut so first you have to put on the wing nut because this had a screw head on it that meant that I had to pre-install the wing nut and then the washer because once this was connected to the, the hob it meant there was no way of putting it in so you have to pre-do it and then what I did was I drilled that I secured this with my cordless screwdriver and then I just tightened it up with the wing nut. So that's now securely secured in place. And then the one back here, as you can see, I didn't have any room for a wing nut, so I just used a, uh, a normal nut. That's how I did that. There's two, two in the back there, and then there's also two in the front on either edge. So that's how I've secured the, the hob to the countertop. So that's one job almost completed. The gas hob is now securely installed, the new gas hob, and all I have to do now is wait for the 8mm compression coupler fitting. The fitting will allow me to connect the 8mm copper pipe to the two burner hob. Once those fittings arrive, I will show you how I'm going to hook up the two burner hob to the gas supply. The next job for the SQI engineer check he had two things that he wanted to change in the van. One was the two burner hob, and the next job was to round the corner edge on the end of the worktop. This is the countertop, and he wants me to round that. So what I've done is I've marked it out. I'll just use that coping saw, and I'll go along the edge, and then once that's cut, I will then get my 
handheld router and I will put a chamfer on it to chamfer the edge of it. The edge of the worktop has now been rounded and I've varnished it, I've given it three coats of varnish. So I give it two coats, sanded it and then give it a final coat. I put some corner trim onto the edge there, a nice moulding to soften that edge, take the sharp edge off it and I'm happy with how that's looking. So that's now complete. The last thing I'm going to do now is install the remaining piece of flooring that just arrived today and then put back in the fridge. Once I have the remaining piece of the flooring installed, I will then put back in the fridge. Then I'll take some pictures, send it off to the SQI engineer and hopefully he can then come out and pass the van and then I can send off the paperwork to get it all passed and transfer it over to a motorhome. So let's lay the final piece of flooring I wanted to go under the fridge before I put back in the fridge and let's get cracking on that and then we can take the pictures and send it off to him. So the flooring is now installed under the fridge. So now what, what I can do is I can take a picture of the, the new hub in place, it's fitted in, and also take a picture of the rounded corner. That's the end of this episode and I decided to show you the two things that I needed changed for the SQI engineer to pass the van so I could then send off the paperwork to get it converted over to a motorhome. So I was lucky enough he said just to fit in the new two burner hub and to also round this corner because it wouldn't pass apparently with a sharp corner. If I was to do this again, I would contact the SQI engineer a lot sooner in the build and just have a discussion with him, confirm that it's the correct hub or the, if you're going to install an oven to confirm that it's the correct oven what I'm going to do with the end of this countertop is put in an extra piece of countertop that's going to flip up maybe a foot. So that will then allow me to flip up this piece of extra worktop. This will give me a nice bit of extra workspace if you want to do some juicing or make smoothies or make some coffee or prep some food. You have this area here in the van where you're going to flip it up because I have some of this countertop left over, which is the pine, the pine worktop. What I think I'm going to do is, because the bed is going to run out as far as here, I'm going to have a flip up. I think I'm going to make some sort of a shelf here that will flip up and you'll be able to rest your your laptop or your, your phone or your keys and they can be charging with, from this socket here. So that's it. That's the end of this episode. Just a quick short episode to show you exactly what I needed to change for the SQI engineer to get it passed and just to get the paperwork done. So I will let you know how I get on. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.